everyone, my name is Mark Christie and welcome to the Bodyweight Workout. I'm going to show you some simple exercises you can do without any equipment at all. Now when you do a little circuit like this, you might want to design your own little cards. For example, jumping jacks, squats, whatever the exercises are. And obviously if you've got the luxury of using weights equipment, you can make your cards reflect that as well. Okay, the other thing you need to think about, get a nice little stopwatch or some sort of timing mechanism. So we're going to be working on 45 seconds work, 15 second recovery today. Well, we're going to lay things out here and without further ado, we're going to start off with a bit of a warm up. We're going to do a warm up first, like with any exercise, it's always important to get that heart rate elevated and get the core muscle temperature uh, raised as well. Scott's going to do more dynamic warm ups of his own variety over there. I'm going to do an easier warm up. So, you can choose whichever you want to do. So I'm off. Okay, I'm just going to be marching on the spot. You can bring your knees up a little bit higher, working those arms as well. Scott's got starting with his skipping rope over there. If you haven't got a skipping rope, of course you can just do the, the action without a skipping rope. Perfectly okay. All right, now we're going to move into some heel digs with a bicep curl. Scott's still going on a skipping, but he's going to introduce some jogging and he's also going to introduce some walking squats you can do. So with the heel digs, vary the arms. So this is a pec deck movement I'm doing here. You can add in punches to the front. And you can take your hands a bit higher. Alright, so Scott's still going on his more dynamic warm-up. So if you've got space, you could be running around that particular space. Another one you can do, I'm doing here, is a half a jack. Bring your hands in front. Okay, so Scott's keeping going on that one. You can take your feet nice and wide. You can work the torso down one side. And then work the other side. That's just mobilizing the trunk as well. Scott, again, he's doing something more dynamic over there to warm up. All right, another one I'm gonna do. It's great big shoulder rolls here. Shoulder circles, let the arms nice and high, work that way, and then I can work the other way. Scott's doing a more dynamic warm up over there. Right, you can also integrate the shoulder rolls into a march. So another one Scott's doing is a walking squat. I'm just rolling the shoulders here. Alright, so again you can bring your knees up, elbows to meet the knees, make that a little bit more dynamic by pulling your arms down to meet those knees. Alright, so lots of different ideas there to help you warm up to. Uh, you can vary that, add in your own versions, whatever you want to do. So a more dynamic version, or an easier version. So ideally do something like that for a good 5 to 10 minutes before you start on any circuit. Exercise number one, a jumping jack. So Scott's going to do the harder one and I'm going to do the easier one. So jumping jacks, keep the knees soft if you're doing the harder version. Uh, arms go out to the side, you can bring your arms in front as well. And the easier one, the lower impact, is like this. And again, you can vary the arms, bring your arms in front, okay, or out to the side. Keep them out to the side if you prefer. So if you're in a flat and you don't want to make any noise, you do the low impact, okay? If you've got the luxury of you know, not worrying about that, you can do the more high impact version. Exercise number two, push up. All right, so Scott's starting with a three quarter push up. So you notice he's on his knees. His hands are about shoulder width apart, okay? And he's gonna go down to the floor, brings his chest down to the floor. Now, when you have your hands closer together, that works more the inner chest but Scott can also take his hands a little bit wider and that works more of the, the bigger chest muscles that way. So closer together, inner chest and triceps take the load a bit more. Okay, wider, more to the chest. Now, Scott can then go from bent knees to a full push-up. Okay, and again, he's keeping his back nice and level throughout. Okay, look at that, he's bringing his chest right down towards the floor. Exercise number three, squats. Scott's going to do a deeper squat and I'm going to do half a squat. 
Right, so feet shoulder width apart. Okay, and you're gonna keep your heads looking forwards and slightly upwards. So push the bottom out first and lower yourself down. So if I go from the side here, keeping your head upright, eyes are high, push the bottom out first and you can bring your arms in as well. Scott's doing having his arms a bit closer and I'm taking the arms out in front. Exercise four is called the plank. So what we're looking for is a nice flat back, head is nice and neutral and Scott's resting on his elbows here, forearms nice and relaxed back is flat and he's feeling like he's pulling his belly button in towards his spine to keep that nice flat back there. All right, keep breathing all the time because sometimes people hold their breath while they're doing the planks. And if that gets too much, all Scott needs to do is let his knees come down to the floor, relax, and then when he's ready, he can go back up again. So that's exercise number four, the plank. Exercise number five is a step up. Now, if you haven't got a step box, you could use the bottom step off the staircase or you might have some outdoor steps you can use. Right, so Scott's gonna do a more dynamic version and I'm gonna do an easier version. So the main thing with um, the box is getting feet, your feet into the middle of the box, standing nice and tall, keep the core tight. Notice Scott's doing something a lot more dynamic, so he's working off one leg, and then obviously halfway through, doing say 45 seconds, you can switch to the other leg and work ready. So he's really driving hard, raising that knee and working off the other foot. Exercise six is the tricep dip. So if you haven't got a box again, you could use something like a bench, something really sturdy. So be very careful if you're using shares, make sure they're really sturdy and strong and they're not gonna move around. All right, so Scott's basically got his hands about shoulder width, just wider than shoulder width apart. He's going to keep his bottom close to the bench and lower himself down by bending at the elbow here. Okay, and down towards the floor, keeping his head neutral, looking forwards all the time. Notice knees are soft. Now, if you find this hard with the legs extended, you can always bring the feet in and make it a little bit easier, okay, by having your knees a bit closer, to, uh, sorry, your feet nearer to you rather than having your legs extended. Exercise seven, we're going to give you a choice here. So Scott's going to do the lunge and I'm going to do heel digs. So a lunge you can do two ways, a four point lunge or an in and out lunge. So the four point lunge that Scott's going to show you here. Okay, so he steps forwards, he lowers down, he lifts up and he returns and then switches leg, step, lower, up, return. Or the more dynamic one Scott's going to do while I'm showing you some heel digs. Okay, so if you don't like doing the lunges, you can always do heel digs, lots of different arm movements you can do with that. And obviously, you work above your heart level, okay, in terms of raising your arms, that raises your heart rate even more. Exercise number eight, our last one of the circuit today, sit up. So, very basic one. Scott's got his hands touching the mat, knees are bent, his head's going to be looking upwards. All right, and he's gonna slide his hands forward about six inches and then return. So he's gonna breathe out as he comes up and slowly back down. All right, so that's a nice simple sit-up exercise, nice basic one. Now to go from there, he might wanna put his hands on his thighs. Again, he's gonna keep looking up towards the sky and he's right, riding his hands up, his thighs there to the top of his knees. All right, and a harder one, fingers touching ears, Okay, and he's now curling up, so he's bringing his elbows to try and meet his knees at the top. So that's exercise number eight, the last one in our circuit. So join us now, we're gonna do the circuit itself. Join us on the circuit, we're gonna do 45 seconds exercise, 15 second recovery. We're gonna go around all eight exercises. You can do this one lap, two laps, three laps. So just repeat the video and join in with us if you wanna do more laps. 45 seconds. It's the jumping jacks first. Exercise one, off we go. Jacks. So I've got the uh, stopwatch running. We're keeping our knees soft, remember. We can vary our arms by bringing our arms out in front or just keep them out to the side. Okay, even when Scott's doing the, uh, the full jack there, he's keeping his knees soft throughout the movement, keeping his head nice and level. Okay, and he's working hard. So we're halfway through this one, guys. Keep working hard there. 
And although I'm doing the, uh, the easier version, if you work really fast, you can make that quite intense. So we're not too far off. We've got another seven seconds to go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We've got 15 seconds recovery. Time to get into our push-up position. So Scott's going to do the full push-up, and I'll do the easier one. All right, so down to the floor. Get stop watching the position where you can see what you're doing. 15 seconds. Ready, get set, and go. So I've got my hands nice and wide. I'm bringing my face down towards the stopwatch. Chest close to the floor. Scott's working hard there. Again, keep breathing all the time. Don't hold your breath when you're doing these exercises. All right, we've got 15 seconds to go, guys. Keep going. So, if you're doing the three-quarter, you want to go to the full one. It's quite easy to do that. Or you collapse back down. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. So, again, 15 seconds off. And we're moving to exercise number three, which, if you remember, is the squat. So Scott's going to do the harder version, and I'm going to do the easier one. All right, are we ready? 45 seconds, we're off. So keep those heads looking forwards and upwards. Remember, push the bottom out behind to initiate the movement. You can use your arms out in front as well, or keep it close in. All right, I'm going to go sideways so you can see that. Head is lifted, eyes are high. Push the bottom out and notice the knees are staying over the middle of the feet. All right, we've got another 10 seconds, guys. Come on, keep working. And five, four, three, two, and one. Exercise four, plank time. So again, you might be indoors on a nice plush carpet, or you might be using your mats here. So, planks, 45 seconds, elbows in position, head is neutral, back is flat, pull the belly button in, off we go, 45 seconds. So, trying to keep the head neutral, eyes looking towards the floor, keep the breathing going the whole time, back is flat, belly button pulled in, try and think of something to relax yourself while you're doing this one. It's quite a long time, 45 seconds. So feel like you're pulling that belly button in towards the spine, it's keeping everything nice and tight. All right, we're almost there. Five seconds to go. And four, three, two, and one. Then just collapse the knees to the floor. And up we get from there. Okay, exercise number five. Is the steps. Reset the stopwatch. Are we ready? Steady. Off we go. So keeping the feet in the middle of the box here. Scott's doing the more dynamic one. Remember you can do these on the bottom of the uh, bottom step of your staircase. If you've got an outdoor step you can use that as well. You don't have to have a step box. And of course step boxes you can adjust them to different heights. So I've got a very low set here. Scott's on the highest set there. All right, we're halfway through this one. Remember, this is number five. Only three to go after this. Keep going now. Another 10 seconds to go. So remember, change lead leg as well. Almost forgot there. All right, another five seconds to go. Four, three, two and one all right next exercise all right we're going to do the tricep dip so exercise number six Scott's on this one here all right i have to get a bit of a break here because this box is too low so we're ready to go in five four three two and we're off all right so remember scott's doing the the tougher version here he's got his legs nice and long and he's keeping his back nice and straight bottom's close to the bench and his hands are nicely spaced 
All right, so he's working hard now. If you find that really tough, you can always bring your bottom onto the bench, okay, and relax, and then join back in, or as Scott's doing here, make it a little bit easier by bringing your feet in and your knees are bent. He's got 15 seconds to go. Oh, he's going for it here. 10 seconds to go, he's doing the tougher one. His head's nice and neutral, he's looking forward, he's breathing hard. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Well done. Exercise seven, join us on the lunges or the heel digs. We've only got one more to go after this, guys. All right, so, ready, set, and we're off. So I'm doing the easy ones, the heel digs. Scott's doing the lunges. Remember, you could do that four-point lunge if you prefer. If you're doing the heel digs with me, change the arms. All right, I'm going to front. And to make it even harder, more intensity, get that heart rate really going, take your hands above your head. So Scott's going really well here on those ones. And we've had 30 seconds. So vary the arms, just keeps that workout nice and varied and changes the intensity. All right, three, two, and one. Last exercise is the sit-up. Scott's gonna come down here and he's gonna choose any of those three sit-ups that we showed you. All right, I'm gonna give him five seconds to get ready. Four, three, two, and he's off. All right, so he's going for the harder one here. Okay, so he's keeping that belly button nice and tight, working his core. Put his hands across his chest there, or you can have your fingers touching your ears. He's looking forwards and upwards as he's going, and he's breathing out on the lift. And on the way down, he's taking a breath. Keeping his knees nice and bent the whole time. All right, doesn't matter if your toes are coming up, that's fine. Just keep that nice control all the way through. He's got 15 seconds to go. 45 seconds is a long time when you're doing sit-ups. All right, we've got 10, nine, eight. Great work, Scott. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. And that's one lap of the circuit. You can repeat that, a second lap, and then do a third lap. And that should give you a 30 second workout, including a warm up.